In January 1970, I had my audition for a place at Manchester Polytechnic School of Theatre. I had bought a couple of books of audition speeches, as I'd been asked to prepare three pieces, one of which had to be Shakespeare. I chose Lady Macbeth, Macbeth being the only Shakespeare I knew, having studied it at O-level. One was from a play I'd never heard of, with a speech of a character contemplating suicide, and the other was a play by Clements Dane, whom I'd also never heard of. I was interviewed on the day by Edward Argent, the principal of the school, who was wearing a black velvet jacket. I recall thinking that this was a good sign, as I was wearing my new black velvet trouser suit. So, you want to be an actress? He was a round, teddy bearish man with dark, twinkling eyes, thick, dark hair and a full beard threaded through with grey. No, I am an actress, I said. Whether I'm employed as such is another matter, but that's what I am. I am an actress. I believed that, absolutely. So, do you think you'll be able to learn anything here then? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be learning about the actress that I am and how to use what I have. He then asked me to stand up and perform my pieces. Never since have I performed anything first time with such confidence. First of all, I did my Lady M, the screw your courage to the sticking place speech, feeling totally in tune with every single line. Lifted up by this, I went on to my second piece, the suicide speech. Again, I soared through it, convinced that I was completely at one with the character. Edward Argent creaked slightly in his chair. Hmm, that was interesting. And very, very good. I felt as if I might just float up into the air, buoyed up by my very own ego. But then... Tell me, why did you choose to play a man's part? Uh, oh! <laughs> I laughed. What the hell was he talking about? And then I realised that because I'd bought a book of audition speeches, I didn't really know the plays that the speeches were taken from. And therefore, of course, I didn't really know the characters either. Clearly there was more to this than my just acting words off the page, regardless of context. I laughed again. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, I just thought it would be... You know, I thought... Uh, oh, uh, oh, 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 what the hell, I'd no idea it was a man. I just liked it and I wanted to play that speech and express those feelings. Now he laughed. Well, I like your honesty. Now, what else have you got for me? Well, I bet you can't wait. <laughs> I laughed nervously. It's by Clements Dane. And before you ask, no, I don't know anything about him and I haven't read the play either. But I think he must be pretty good, judging from this speech anyway. Oh, yes. Incidentally, Clements Dane is a woman. Fire away. About three weeks later, I received a letter accepting me on the course, which was to begin the following September. And that's a little piece from my autobiography. That's another story. It's a, it, the, the bit I've just read is about when I auditioned for Manchester Polytechnic School of Theatre to do the course there in 1970. And um, as you see, I did a get in eventually. And the book is, well, it's really a memoir about my childhood, growing up, through my teens and then into nursing and, and into Manchester Polytechnic School of Theatre and, of course, my, my career in films and television and theatre, you know, including Educating Rita, of course, and um, Billy Elliot, Calendar Girls, and, of course, Mamma Mia. Couldn't leave that out, could I? Um, that's it. It's a good read. <laughs>